rematch and he would like to have the rematch at 154 pounds. Are you interested in moving up in weight for the rematch or does it have to be at 47? Definitely don't have to be at 47. Like I said, you know, uh, I'm, I'm in a hurt business. 47 was kind of hard for me too. I was already talking about moving up in weight and challenging Charlo. So 54 wouldn't be outreach of anything. Now here, Spence fanboys crying over and over again. He's gonna duck the rematch at 154. He said he'll fight Spence on 154. I heard the video over and over again. And I heard Crawford said 154 is not an outreach. Also, he says we do not have to fight at 147. He did not say that we're gonna definitely fight at 154 or we are not definitely fighting at 147. What he's saying, there were possibilities. And I think this is a, a bank move for Terrence Crawford. He says, if you want 154, you're gonna have to pay me some more cheese. By the way, it does not say in the contract that Terrence Crawford has a fight to rematch at 154. I'm hearing that rumor go around too. That is not the case. Terrence Crawford won the fight. He is the A side. He chooses the conditions of the fight, rather be at 154 or 147. All he have to do is offer Spence a rematch. Spence took the rematch. Now he determines what weight class it will be in. And right now, what I'm from wanting to hear is 147. Now, aerosexuals, get this out your head. Terrence Crawford didn't promise anything. From where I'm standing, this is a golden opportunity for Spence to become undisputed champion at 147. And if I had to place a bet, rather the fights at 147 or 154, I think Spence is going to take it. But Terrence Crawford didn't promise anything. He just said everything is possible. Crawford, on the other hand, I don't see nobody around that's going to be the beat bud and there's somebody way bigger than him. But don't don't sleep on the fact that if him and Tank fought at about 145, that's a good daggone fight. You understand me? Matter of fact, I'm saying that's a good damn fight. You understand me? Because they both have very high IQ and Tank is very explosive. See, that's the one thing Tank got that Earl didn't have. Tank has explosiveness. A lot of people out there think it's Boots Ennis, but according to Roy Jones, there is nobody out there that challenged Terrence Crawford. He says to beat Terrence Crawford, the opponent would have to be way bigger than Terrence Crawford, like a Canelo Alvarez. But he did say he believed Javante Davis, Terrence Crawford at a catch weight, the catch weight would be 145. That'll be a good fight. Two got great boxing IQs. But what separates Javante Davis to Errol Spence, and I do believe this part, Javante Davis has explosive power. I think he is a harder puncher than Errol Spence. I, I believe that. I believe Tank Davis is a harder puncher than Keith Thurman. I think Terrence Crawford is a harder puncher than Keith Thurman. I also would say that Javante Davis has a real high boxing IQ, something that Errol Spence does not have. And he might give a better fight than Errol Spence, but not, that is not saying much. This is what me and Roy Jones separate. Javante Davis' resume, Javante Davis' level of competition does not compare to Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is a three-way champion, two-time undisputed champion, and Javante Davis has had one legit title. Javante Davis has been in boxing for 10 years and basically hasn't done anything. And for me to think he has a chance against Terrence Crawford, he has to start beating legit elite opposition and he hasn't done that get back to me when Javante Davis cleans out 135 beats a Devin Haney beats a Tiafimo Lopez beats a Shakur Stevenson then come back to the table and talk until then Tank has a lot of potential skills and power but he hasn't shown that against legit opposition anyway leave your thoughts and comments below JBZ I'm gone